everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, we were trying to disarm the bombs with Fi, and actually we succeeded uh, because I made sure to go back and find all of the bomb passwords which we had already seen in several of the endings. And we were able to disarm all four. Luckily, uh, Sigma figured out where the fourth bomb was, which is the bomb number zero. Because it, uh, in this timeline, it wasn't under the table in the laboratory. It was actually where he had ditched the knife when he usually kills the old woman. But because he didn't kill her in this timeline, uh, he actually put the bomb there. Um, but yeah, we did that. And then we went through the white door with Tenmyoji and Fai. And now we are in room Q, which is the most difficult puzzle room of the game. And you'll see what I mean in a bit. Um, I'm gonna try my best, like I said, to solve what I can on my own. But for the rest of it, I'm definitely gonna be using a guide because this is too tough. <laughs> Even Inferno, the puzzle master, struggled with this room. So I'm like, yeah, I don't feel too bad about this. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I think this cube is just floating here. How the hell is it doing that? Who knows? Can't tell just by looking at it. Why don't you touch it and see if anything happens? Oh, Gidok? Oh, is this like Minesweeper? Oh boy, it's like Minesweeper, isn't it? Which I never understood. <laughs> Zero, one, three, one. Because from what I understood about Minesweeper, you're basically looking for certain blocks and stuff based on how many... Like, you don't want to go by the zeros. Or, no, Minesweeper was actually, like, based on the numbers, how many bombs were near it, right? But in this case, I think we're looking for it. This is three, two, one. Zero. So there's nothing to the right. There's something here to the left for sure. Three, one, 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 one. But where is it though? Like I'm touching and I'm not seeing anything special happening. It's definitely they're to the left here. I just don't know which one it is. Hmm. <laughs> Oh god, this room. I'm already dreading like, I'm already like, oh no. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Well, hmm. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on here. Have another look at it. Huh? The cube. Look at it again. Why? Oh, okay. There are winning and losing panels on the wall. The cube can help you find the winning panels. Oh, okay. When the winning panels and only the winning panels are highlighted in cyan, the system will activate. Here's how to find the winning panels. When you touch a panel on the cube, it will display a number. Each surrounding panel will also display a number. This number indicates the number of winning panels at the board that border each panel. Right. For example, um, losing is that. That's winning. So zero. Oh, we're going by row. Okay. So the top is two zeros, then one, because the it's touching. The bottom border of it is touching. And zero, zero. It doesn't go by diagonal. And then one, one. Oh, so it includes itself if it is a winning one. I see. And then two, two. Okay, I get that. It's difficult because you got to remember that it includes itself. If it says three and two, I think that's a good chance it's a winning one. The hint that appears on the cube is different for each side. Oh no. 
Oh, no. Hypothetically, if the wall with the exit is the north wall, then the wall to the right of that would be the east wall, which would make the wall with the entrance the south wall, and the wall to the left, that would be the west wall. That would mean that a hint that appears on the west side would actually refer to the east wall, a hint that appears on the north side refer to the south wall. No! Why did you make that complicated? The wall with the exit is the north wall. <laughs> no. Why are you guys like this? Why? Why do you do this to me? I gotta remember, north is exit wall, which is the one I'm facing right now, basically. Adjacent walls don't provide hints for one another. Each hint is specific to that wall. That means winning paddles with the border. Yeah, okay. There are a total of eight puzzles hidden in the walls. Touch the floor to view this message one more time. After that, it will be gone forever. Oh no. Why? why? <sighs> so... Two... The only ones that could be touching the corner one would have to be the one above it and the one to the right, which means they're both winning. Right? Yeah. So then based off of that, it says one because the one to the right is a winning one and the one above it is a winning one. Three. Which would mean... I mean, unless this one is winning as well. Because it could be including itself and it could be including the one next to it. Oh, shoot. That's true. It could be referring to the one above it. Because the one to the right could be referring to the actual bottom corner one. That's tricky. This one's three because it's including that one too, I think. One, two... And then maybe the one above it too. I would say maybe one, two, three, like uh, in a top in a column. <sighs> three, two. I think uh, the ones that say three are usually the ones. Three. One, two. That means there's another one, which might be the one above it again two and then they'll say one that makes sense so I'm gonna say and this is without me actually looking at the guide at all yet I'm gonna say it's uh, the the top the column from the bottom up to four yeah that's what it looks like and I don't see anything else because the rest of it's all zeros okay Okay, so it's this wall? We're including this whole thing. So if we do that, then it's one, two, three, four. Yes! Oh my god, I actually solved it! Dude, maybe it's not that bad. Actually, don't don't jinx yourself, Binks. <laughs> there, there's more. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, interesting. So that's how this one works. It looks like there's more of them. We should keep looking. Ah, crap. So should we just take out all of the stuff first before solving this one? Something just slid out from the wall. You can look around more by exiting zoom, mo zoom mode and returning to the normal view. Okay. So this. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> It's either going to be really easy or really hard. It's got some kind of weird patterns on it. <laughs> Nothing happens if I touch them, though. Maybe something's missing. Like what? Oh, so I can't do it yet. Okay. Uh, so we did this wall. This was north. So we gotta do this one now. I know now. I get it. You can disappear. It's fine. I don't care. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, there's a lot here. Threes and fours. Oh boy. Oh no. 
We have quite a lot. I think that other wall was easier. So this top half, there's nothing at all. So it's all down here. Oh, shoot. Three. That would mean all three of them. Four. Bottom. That means all four of these. Yeah. Oh boy, lots of fours and threes, which means there's practically all of them. Okay, uh, to save you guys time, I will be solving this on my own. Um, but you, you saw how I'm doing it. I'll let you guys know when I'm actually having to resort to using the guide. But for this, I think I, I think I can figure this out. It's just going to take a little time, and I, I want to save time, so I'm going to do some editing. Uh, but yeah, I'll get this. No problemo. Okay. Okay, guys. So, it looks like there's in sections because I thought... I was like, there's more than just four. There's like a lot all in the bottom here. Um, but it's like after I did three there, it opened this thing. But it looks like there's more. So, I have to do more. So, there's going to be like two sections in this wall. Um, probably because the door is in the other one, so that might be why I had less. Um, I'm thinking, based on the Minesweeper thing, that there's another one here? Yeah. Oh no, more dice! <laughs> Great. Okay. I could have sworn there was more, um... Based on... Hold on. Isn't there some up here? Based on my notes, there's there's like a few up here as well. Uh, like here and here and I think here. Yeah, I think there's uh, three right here. Let me see. Uh, right above it? Really? Oh. I, I thought that was a weird shape, but... Okay. Well, we're gonna have a lot to do in this room. But it looks like for now, I'm just gonna be focusing on um, taking everything out. So, let's do this one now. Some on the bottom. Okay, nothing on the... Uh, not much on the right. There's one here somewhere. Just, maybe just one? Hmm, maybe right here? Maybe two. I think there might be two over here. There's a, a couple here. Don't put it too high up. Yeah, so far we've been lucky there's nothing high up. Uh, I think there's definitely two down here. Two or three, maybe. Maybe one here. I'm thinking this one. And then these two. And then there's, there's one or two over here. So let me try it. Okay, based on that, there was like... Uh, one? No. There. I might not even edit that out just to show you guys the process. I mean, luckily, if you highlight it, you could even just do it through, uh, <laughs> just trying different combinations. Oh, well that one was just one. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was one or two over there. Okay, that, well that's it for this wall. And now we got, um, this this wall? Because with all this stuff... Is there... There is something. Yeah. How are we gonna do it if the other stuff is sticking out? <laughs> Nothing up there. It's just in the bottom, looks like. Bottom right. 
we got a few, and bottom left, we got a few. Uh, okay. I'll uh, be back with you guys once I get this one. Whoa, everything just fits perfectly under there, huh? And I think, actually, <laughs> these three. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there we go. Everything's all lit up now. Here we go. <laughs> what shall we start with? Something just lit up from the wall. Oh, let me exit that. Okay, I think that's it, guys. Can we do this now? Yep, change the colors to the correct ones. Here we go. Only have five moves. Huh, oh, I feel like I've done this puzzle somewhere before. Yep. Ah, well. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay. So we have to get it to look like this. Oh, it kind of... Wait, no, it looks like that already. So what are we... What are we trying to get it to look like? Are we just switching colors? What are we... Uh, what are we trying to accomplish right here? Are we just trying to switch it, right? We're making all the ones that are red green? And vice versa? Uh, that's kind of what confuses me sometimes. Oh, final. I didn't know we were trying to turn the whole thing red. That's BS. That's kind of what I hate about these. They don't tell you what, what exactly you're supposed to do. <laughs> I'm just floundering around forever, and then finally I said, screw it, and I looked it up, and they're like, yeah, you just gotta turn it all red. I didn't look like at the actual step-by-step, -step, but once I read that, I was like, oh, so that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> God, it's so frustrating. All right, we did it. Did... Did I solve it? Yeah, that must be the answer. Look. Oh! Was that the hint of what I was supposed to- I didn't look to the right. The hint was right there the whole time. Damn it, Banks. Why are you like this? <laughs> I didn't know! Gosh dang it. Glass doors. They're open. Well, I take it back, kind of. I didn't know to my right that there was the biggest clue in the world saying this is what you're supposed to do. Gah! <laughs> God, wasted so much time. <sighs> well done. That was some good work, Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's right there. I didn't even notice. I didn't look. How? Oh, I didn't know. God, I'm so mad. All right. It's a binder. Let's have a look. There is only a single piece of paper in here. It says Q Chamber Special AB Game. Uh oh. You found instructions for the Q Chamber's AB Game. Hmm. That's worrisome. What's this? Memory card red. Red memory card. Okay. Gonna have to stick out somewhere. Gosh, I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> I thought I was doing so well, too, figuring out the Minesweeper stuff on my own. I'm pretty sure I didn't understand the Minesweeper stuff the first time I ever played this game. I was dumb then. Oh, did I stick it here? That is this ridiculously huge thing. There's a screen down here. Looks like this is the only part you can actually interact with. But it's dark. There's nothing on it. There are some card slots underneath the screen. They look just like the ones on the polling machines in the AV rooms. So that means... I need to put some memory cards in here, right? 
Yeah, like the one you've got in your hand right now, you dumbass. <laughs> Do it. Red card. See if anything happens. No. Nope, nothing. You still got two empty slots. I reckon you need two more cards. Hmm. Alright. <sighs> no? Not even on the right? What is that? I can't interact with it. Okay. Looks like four purple books that say dice. Let's go through each one of them. What the? There's nothing written here. Huh? I mean, all the pages are blank. Are the other books the same? Let's have a look. Yeah, there's nothing here. Now what's the point? This one's blank too. Huh. Something wrong. Is there something in that one? No, the pages are all blank. It's just... Just what? Well, there are some pictures put in between the pages back here. Three of them, it looks like. Found a picture of a blue dye, a green dye, and a red dye. Okay. Anything else? Looks like a bookshelf. Hmm. That's it? Okay. Weird design there. Uh, let's look. Wait, what's this? I don't need that. Blue dye. Oh, let me write this down. Okay. Five, four, and one. Oh god, the positioning. I'm gonna have to know, aren't I? Okay, I have to label columns and... Oh, this seems like a piece of... piece of crap. <laughs> this is... No! That's one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And that's in column two. Row one, two, three, four, five. It's one, two, three. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to solve this one. It's going to be a pain in my butt. Okay. I'm trying. Okay, this is something else I might have to deal with after I finish other stuff. Hints for the AB Game Q Edition. Three people will definitely choose Ally. Three people will definitely choose Betray. Okay, I like these uh, logic puzzles. These are kind of fun. One is a mysterious mirror man. He will always do whatever his opponent does. First answer, strive for nine with six cooperators. Okay. Second... We must be the only ones to surpass nine. Interesting. Well, I need two answers because one of them will probably give me the gold file and the other one will be the escape. I'll worry about that later. Let's do the dice thing now that I wrote down. Oh, God. God, it's going to take forever, y'all. I might, I might need help for this one. We'll see. Roll the six dice to move them to where they need to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, let's give it a shot. Kill me. Okay, guys. I'm back. You know why? <laughs> because I give up. I have been trying to do this one for quite a while, and I just can't do it. So, I'm going to resort to help. I need help. I just don't have the patience. I don't. Oh, shoot. Ugh. It doesn't help that my mouse has been acting up a lot lately. Okay, that one is the correct one. God, I was struggling with that one so much. Oh, but the hardest one are the two that are right on top of each other. The green and blue to the left, they're the ones that were giving me even more of a difficult time. This one, I was like, it's a little annoying getting it to face the correct way, but I got that one easier than these two. So, let me check what they say. Oh, there's a pattern that you gotta do it to make it easier, I see. You can't just do it 
That makes sense though, because sometimes you need them out of the way of each other. So there's a certain pattern. So then I should do this one next, the red die with the six. Oh, no wonder. Down, down, and down. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Well. Uh, sometimes the angles were throwing me off too because I didn't realize. Okay, the three with two and six. I can't see the two, but I'm sure it's there. Okay. Then I have to move a green die, and here I wanted to move the red one. Green die with one. This is tough, man, to figure this out. It would take forever. There we go. I see. Ah, uh, yes, finally, <laughs> thank you, guide. <laughs> There's no way, that, that would have taken me forever. I, I already wasted time trying it myself. Huh, got it. I had a feeling you could do it. Honestly, I think I could have, it just really would have taken too long. Good job. Oh, look at this. Hey, it opened. Yeah, give me that. All right. Jeez. If this was a blind game, I definitely would not. Um, I would try my hardest not to use a guide, but whatever. <laughs> Blue card. Let's put it in. Nothing. Okay. What else do we got over here? Oh. Are those missiles? They're darts. Look over here. I think that's a green memory card. We can't get it out though. That glass is covering it. I think we can get some darts out though. Okay. I'll grab a couple. Alright. There we go. What am I throwing it at though? Uh, this thing? Oh boy. That's a dartboard. Darts are fun. You have to do math. <laughs> Crying inside. It's kind of like this room takes a bit of from other rooms, you know, with the dice and the um, the hexagons and this. I remember seeing this before in my nightmares. Binks always cries have to do having to do math. Come on, who hasn't seen a dartboard before? No, that's not what I mean. I feel like I've seen it somewhere in this building before. It's just... This board is... Different from a normal dartboard, you know? Hmm. Let's try it out. What do you mean, try it out? Isn't that obvious? There's only two ways to use a dartboard. Either you use it to hold pizza, or you throw darts at it. Five, come on, girl. You've got some darts, don't you, Sigma? Maybe you could try throwing them. Get a score of 100 with three darts. However, the first dart must land in the green, the second in the blue, and the third in the red. Throw a dart. <sighs> okay. That's weird. I could have sworn I've seen these darts before. Dude, let it go. Whatever. Time for darts. 
Uh, this should be easier. Hopefully. Just do some, uh, trial and error. Okay. Uh... Twenty-seven. I'm trying to get to a hundred. Then blue. And then red. <clears throat> God, math. No. Math now. No. Ah, I, I could just keep trying to guess <laughs> because I'm stupid. Finally! I... Ugh, math. Sucks. Huh. Piece of cake. You see that? My dart skills are undeniable. Yes, I saw it quite clearly. I saw you having to do a lot of math and crying, crying, and crying. <laughs> it was very nice. I liked seeing you suffer. Do you really think you had to stand the whole 2 meters and 37 centimeters away from the dartboard, though? I'm a fair man. My high school voted me most likely to be a judge, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. That's great and all, but look. See the display case. Yay! It's open. Great. Now we can get that green memory card. Let's do it. Mm, we're gonna have to pull out all the stops in this job. Sound like you're in a heist movie. Should I have worn a cat suit? <laughs> Ted Miyoji, please. Sigma's like, yes, my thirst knows no bounds. <laughs> Ugh. I think I just threw up a little. From excitement. <laughs> Besides, everybody in a heist movie wears a sweet suit. Alright. Computer. I haven't used that uh, thing over there yet. Green card, huh? Come on. Would you look at that? Looks like you turned it on. Oh, here we go. This is what I don't want to have to look up. I want to figure this out myself, because it's going to be fun. Actually, the only thing I had to look up so far was the... Uh, well, a little bit, a hint of the hexagon, because I was stupid. And then I had to look up the dice. But everything else, I'm, I'm alright. Us, A, and B are all pairs, consisting of two people. C, D, and E are all solos. First, move the pairs A and B to the blank areas on the left under pair. Then move C, D, and E to the blank areas on the left over solo. Move them... Pair and solo align vertically with versus face off. Still move icons even after you place them. Once an opponent has been selected, the game will begin. Choose the vote for the us pair. Either ally or betray. Results of your match will be displayed along with the results from the other teams. If the correct number of people reach the target BP after three rounds, the game will be completed. Let's try this. So let's try allying. Oh, that went so fast. Hold on. <laughs> Let me put it back to how it looked. We got. Oh, shoot. I can't kill B. I did A, B, C was in the middle. Oh, so A and C betrayed each other. We allied, and so did our opponent, which was D. And then B got screwed over, they allied, and E... Oh, 
Here's what I need. I was like, wait, I'm missing something. Here we go. This will help me. Three people will definitely choose ally. So I'm wondering if B is the one who will definitely ally. Oh no, that's a pair. Do they count as people? Three people? B is a pair and they allied. Three people will definitely choose betray. Well, E definitely betrayed B. Hmm. The mirror man is the problem. I mean, unless we went against the mirror man. We have to do it in three rounds. If I ally every time, I get two. Seven. Nine. Yeah, I could do it. If I get mirror, if I, if mirror man is D, then we just keep allying and we'll be fine. The problem. Strive for nine with six cooperators. Uh, that's gonna be hard, actually. We can get the second answer probably easier. Oh, but we can't do that because then... If we're with the mirror man, then we're screwed. We can't betray him because then he'll betray us. I need to find out if he's the mirror man. So the only way would be if I betray this time. Let's see if he does too. So for A and B, let's see. I can't kill B, so I don't want to put them against E again. I gotta see. Now the problem is if C is the mirror man and B betrays to protect themselves, then C will betray and then B will be dead. Actually no, because if they both betray then they get zero. That might be the safest bet actually. So let's try, because A is alright. So we're gonna try betraying. Okay. Alright, that's interesting. We betrayed and we... We got eight now. We went from five to eight, which means we, we defeated. Which means that D is not the mirror man. That means he, he is the one who always allies. I'm sorry, D. I'm sorry. Um... D always allies. That's good to know. So let's figure out... For A... They're the same. B actually got more. They got two more. Because I think they allied. Because I put them with... Uh, with C. That would mean C's the mirror man. Right? D always allies. C was mirror. E is betray guy. He got six now. I think... I think E betrayed and A betrayed. I think A and E always betray. That's that's actually fine. If we want to go for the second answer, then that means you guys keep betraying each other and get zero. Well, nobody's close to nine except us. We need someone... Actually, it doesn't matter if I get C or D. If I get... Um, if I ally, then I'm fine. Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah. Got it. Second answer. Okay. Nice one. Looks like that was the answer. Okay. Knew it. Looks like a password. Yeah. Okay. That's fun. Now let's try for the first one. This one's gonna be harder though. To get uh, everybody to cooperate. 
What about the betrayal? For people who always betray... Shoot, what if it changes too? It better not, because I already memorized stuff. How do you get the betrayers to not screw us over? <laughs> um... Hmm. That, I don't know. Because betrayers are going to really screw everybody up. I know for sure A and E are the betrayers, but there must be another one. Who's the other betrayer? There, I, I thought we were supposed to have three, right? Uh, no, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for this. Three will always choose betray. Maybe they're including the two people in a pair. So then two people in another pair will always choose ally. That actually makes sense. One is a mysterious mirror man. This one, I don't... I might have to look up because I don't know how to deal with the betrayal people. We need six... Strive for nine with six competitors. Uh, six cooperators. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That, that doesn't mean we have to take the betrayal people. We could have the betrayal people outside, right? If we put A and E... This is a pair. One, two, three, four. No. Oh, wait, no, we include. We're a pair, right? Five, six. I think it's fine. If we just exclude A and E and let them screw each other over every time, and we just ally, then we should be fine, right? That seems pretty... Yes. Let's just keep doing that. That seems easy. I don't have to look this up and <laughs> I don't have to worry. We're all good. Yeah. And then we have one more. And Annie keeps screwing each other over <laughs> forever. <laughs> Let's do it. There. That was easy. Okay, we're good. I was like, wait, what do they mean by six and better? <laughs> no, we're fine. Phew, A and E, you can rot in hell. Ha, <laughs> huh, got it. Alice and, and Dio, you guys deserve each other. Keep screwing each other over. <laughs> Way to go. Good work. Hey, look, the screen changed color. You know what? This room wasn't as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> I think it was just the... Um, I didn't understand Minesweeper when I played it the first time. And... The dice puzzle, I know Inferno would not have been able to help me at all because of the whole me not being able to screen share thing. Um, yeah, and the fact I didn't see the freaking hexagon hints, that was the only thing that screwed me over there. But everything else was fine. Banks, what were you thinking? This room was not hard at all. God, I feel stupid now. <laughs> I'm sorry, past me, you were dumb. <laughs> So, would this be... Could this be? Should this be? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Yes, it's the escape. Alright, let's go. Last puzzle room with the game! Woo! Oh, but you know, we never used, uh... This over here. That's interesting. There's a screen here too. Screen, huh? nothing on it. And it doesn't do anything when I touch it. How do we turn it on? Hell if I know. I don't see a button or a card slot or anything. Not a lot we can do if we can't turn it on. Mm -hmm. Might as well leave it alone for now. And come on, it's pretty obvious because we've seen it in the director's office? This disc thing? That that's where a hologram comes. But let's not worry about that right now. The same safe we've seen in the other rooms. 
That means we probably open it the same way, too. We just need to plug in the password, right? Yeah. Why don't you give it a shot? Okay, let's go. God, I can't believe this room was not that bad. Here I was talking... Oh! Did I do something wrong? Oh! Thanks. What's wrong with you? I'm blind. I <laughs> put it in the wrong spot. Sorry! Wasn't paying attention. There we go. Give me this file. Which I'm just getting because I want to. I was thinking about it and I'm not going to do an extra episode for the files. Um, other people have done it. If you guys really want to see what's in the files, which are interesting, um, you totally can look it up. I just don't want to have to do a whole episode dedicated to that. Because it's going to take a while. It's interesting. It just gives some little bonus information. It's nothing you really need to know. Yes! It's open! What are those? Are those what I think they are? Frickin' Accelivir? Okay then. Let's see what's in here. Oh, would that be for, uh... Cork and Alice, right? Because they're sick. First off... Okay, star keys. Yes. Hold on, those keys are important, but... Look at this. Accelivir! The Radical Six Cure! Yay! Oh. Oh, thank goodness. I... I don't know what to say. Cork is... Cork is going to be okay. Aww. Is he crying? Aww. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to get this stuff to Quark and Alice. Yeah, you're right. This key should do the trick. Alright, let's go. Let's get moving. Yay, we can cure them because we didn't have access to the other cure. We weren't in the lab, so... Doors lock. You guys ready? All set here. Go for it. Alright. Three, two, one. Two, three. Stop that. Jeez. One more time. Seriously, Sigma, I think you have a mental thing where you're like, I have to count. <laughs> you found it. You did well. I did well. I'm so proud. <laughs> Huh. Huh. Indeed. Well, actually, that will be the end of this episode, you guys. I, I want to finish this game, but I know that what happens next is going to take a while. And I don't want this episode to be like an hour and a half or two, you know? <laughs> so that will be it. So, um, gosh, this LP is going to be longer than I anticipated. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, I hope you're as proud of me as I am, except for that stupid hexagon thing. But um, I did pretty well. I'm proud. I'm so happy. <laughs> so thanks again, and until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye!